Um, Bertha, we have a lot of mutual friends in between, um, and she kind of threw me this script out of the middle of nowhere, you know, and I, I didn't know who she was, but I watched one of her, um, her, her previous movies, and I was, I was intrigued, and I read the script, um, and at that time, they were trying to get me to play the, the lover role, so um, at that time, I wasn't feeling too lovey-dovey, so um, I told them that I, I, would, I thought that the other brother role was kind of speaking to me a little bit more. When I do movies, I kind of like to escape and not be myself at all. Um, that's kind of, it's kind of like therapy. It's like I can at least try to convince myself that I'm not me, so then I don't have to think about the problems <laughs> or the stresses that I have. And even though the, the character that I'm playing might have something else, it's, it's refreshing to deal with uh, someone else's shoes sometimes, I think. So, you know, it was, I was in America and, you know, at that time I hadn't been actually doing anything for a little while because I was just relaxing, trying to get away from Asia for a second. So um, it was perfect and perfect timing because it was winter. I love winter. Went to New York um, and just met a lot of new friends and family. So almost perfect was kind of perfect for me. Yeah. So a lot of the Asian films that are supposedly studio um, maybe had less crew than the, the, the film that, oh, okay. you know, almost perfect. So, I mean, I filmed a movie in Asia and finished it in about 10 days. And, uh, you know, this one took us 21 days to shoot. So it wasn't that shocking to me. There was nothing really kind of low or indie about it. I mean, it was seemed like just another movie that um, we were filming in Hong Kong. But I, I'm kind of glad that, of the fact that we got such a kind of tight-knit crew because I really met a lot of friends, uh, a lot of new friends. and. Uh, we kind of got to know each other so well that when we were acting, it was like seamless and it was just automatic. And you can't keep dragging this out. It's been over three months. Talk to her. Just need a little more time. I'm going back soon, I swear. A lot of my friends that speak English say that my English acting sucks. So um, I, I kind of took, took this on to kind of you know, give myself a reel and to assure myself that I can actually act in English because they, they, they kept on telling me that I do better in Cantonese and it's strange because I don't, it wasn't my mother, lang like my mother tongue language. So they give me too much room to improv in, in Asia because um, they don't quite, maybe the director or the, or the people kind of working on the production don't exactly have the best English kind of lingo. So whatever I say just kind of goes, you know? I'm like, oh, it means this, it means this. And they're like, oh, okay, you know? But here, Bertha's kind of there to kind of bring me back and be like, no, you can't say this. This is not, this is not the right delivery. So um, I'm working on some new music for, um, for China um, coming up in the beginning of next year. And I work with a lot of like, producers and stuff from out here because I like to bring a different kind of sound out there. Next year in like the spring I'm releasing three different albums so like I have some collaboration albums with uh, MC Hot Dog and some with uh, two, two of my really close friends uh, MCN and Chef from Hong Kong and then I'm releasing my solo album as well.